life without parole doesn't mean that you're to be punished or worked or any of that. It means you're to be warehoused till you die. From six months all the way up to death row, we have them all here. Donaldson's a pretty dangerous place. Somebody being stabbed or killed is a common occurrence. The violence here, this is a breeding ground. There we were in Alabama, very Christian part of the country, and we were teaching the teachings of the Buddha. It's a very regimented day, stricter than your normal prison schedule. What is that? I don't want to go through that. I thought, well, we're, you know, going to waste some time here. I've been through every course imaginable. A meditation course? Come on. No one is telling them what to look at or how to change. They're gaining their insights within themselves. I knew that I had to let things go. And I just let the tears roll. It felt good to cry. You know, it had been quite some time. It hit places in me that I didn't even know was there anymore. And after 16 years of being locked up in here, I wasn't sure there were any places like that. You're in the Bible Belt. Now, if you came in and tried to teach against Christianity, it would become a real problem here. They should have meditated before they done whatever they did to get in there. People became threatened. These guys are turning inmates into Buddhists, so therefore you need to shut this thing down. I take responsibility for my action. Now. I did do that first. Fake it till you make it. You know, is this something they can fake, help them make parole? They're clearly grappling with feelings of revenge and hatred. It helped me a lot. It humbled me a lot. What's not to understand about compassion, love, and caring? I got life without parole. I may not never get out of the penitentiary. And this is like a break from everything. This is like freedom. I am proud of our group. I am so proud to call them my Dahmer brothers. I didn't believe it was going to work, but it worked. It really did.